Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another edition of PSVR News. Now I've got about three things to talk about today so let's just jump right in, starting with Dreams. So for those of us who are looking forward to the virtual reality support that Dreams is going to have added, we may have to wait a little bit longer than maybe we were expecting. That's as long as you were expecting to come within maybe the next month or so. And that's because Media Molecule have been tweeting that they're looking for PSVR testers to come forward. They will pay people to test the VR updates for Dreams before it goes live. So if you click the link, you will see that this testing phase is going to go on throughout June. So it ends, it seems, at 19th of June at the latest. So it seems to me very unlikely that we're going to see this VR updates any earlier than maybe late June, but probably July. I mean, it all depends on what kind of feedback they get from these testers. Maybe things will go super smoothly and they won't have to touch anything and it'll just be like, okay, it's ready to go drop us or maybe they'll have to incorporate a lot of feedback maybe that'll be like weeks of work in that case it could be july maybe even august that we'll have to waste fingers crossed all the positive vibes towards that uh, vr patch so that everything will go nice and smoothly and we'll have it in our hands in no time next up we have news on everyone's favorite game firewall zero hour now this news comes from first contact entertainment who have been tweeting that tonight they're going to have a special developer live stream 5 p.m pacific standard time and you know, they're saying, you know, you should be watching this wink wink because they do that when they're showing off something new, they want to tease something. Recently, Hess Barber, the CEO of First Contact Entertainment, has revealed that there is a new map and that it's almost ready to reveal. So it seems very likely that we will see this new map tonight, but we shouldn't rule out the possibility that we'll see a new contractor, maybe new weapons, gear, who knows, maybe something cool, a surprise. Fingers crossed, wait and see, could be any combination of the above. Keep in mind that no matter what they show off here, it's likely we're going to have to wait until the 23rd of June to see us, and that's because Operation Black Dawn, which is the season that we're currently in, has been extended until the 23rd of June. This is the second time that's been extended. And to coincide with that extension, we've got a double XP month that I believe starts on the 26th of May and lasts until the 23rd of June. So yeah, just keep in mind, whatever we see, we're probably going to have to wait about a month before we get our hands on us. But still, nice to see the support is still there. They're still working on us from home and everything, which is pretty cool. So fingers crossed for that snow map. Lastly, let's talk about the Iron Man V your demo that just dropped out of nowhere yesterday so this demo came out of nowhere uh, it's about 25 gigs pretty hefty for a demo it's not that long of a demo but what the demo does show is a couple of missions from the main game one is a tutorial kind of area outside Tony's house in Malibu where you're flying around you're testing out the flies you're testing out the weapons and then the other one is a mission that we've seen from the initial trailer where Tony Stark's personal airplane comes under attack from Ghost who is the villain of this game and it's up to Tony to you know repair the plane while defending the plane at the same time and after playing that myself i'm really excited i hope the game is full of cool set pieces like that because that really was a highlight of the demo the controls are kind of more complex than i expected especially when you combine flying and combat it's a bit to juggle you have to get used to that plus i kind of like that i think that means it's going to be adding depth to the game it's not just going to be a shooting gallery if you play the demo you'll get a special molten lava armor that will be in the game when it releases i'm not sure if it does anything i think it might just be cosmetic but still it's free so why not you know speaking of Iron Man, Sony have announced a couple of bundles for Iron Man. One of them is a PSVR headset bundle that comes with all the stuff you want. And then the other one is a PlayStation Move controller bundle. So a lot of people have been wondering where all the Move controllers are. This could be a good chance to get those Move controllers and buy the game at the same time. Or if you don't even have a PSVR headset, but you like the look of Iron Man VR, the PSVR bundle, a great opportunity to hop on board, you know, catch the excitement as they say on the streets. And that is it for this episode of PSVR News. Thank you very much for watching. But before I go, let me give a special thank you to my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen right now. Thanks to their generosity, they're helping this channel grow and evolve, and I appreciate it very much. Let me give a particular mention to the following top tier Patreon supporters. From Columbus Thomas III, Chopped 517, Tradition, and Pete Hawkins. Thank you very much for the pledge. Thank you very much for that support. If you would like to support as well, the link will be in the description below, but don't worry, I will also very much appreciate likes, shares, you know, all that usual shite. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all my videos. If you like his music, you want to check him out, the link will be in the description below to his Spotify, to, you know, Bandcamp, all that stuff. So go check him out. So that's it for me, lads and ladies. Until next time, stay moist.